Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Fabulous Las Vegas. As you guys can tell from the thumbnail that, that was posted on, on the video, you can see that we're going to be opening up another round of Slam Attacks cards. This time these are going to be Slam Attacks Rumble. Uh, I was looking on the back. I believe these are also Europe related only. Um, it does say uh, WWE Europe shop. But when you read down in the fine print, which is hard to see, it doesn't mention anything about Europe at all. Um, I could be wrong. I'm probably 99% right that these are only found in Europe. And today we have 12 packs of these. We're going to go ahead and open these up and see what we pull. The last video, we actually pulled some very nice cards. Uh, I said before, these are some of my favorite sets. Some of my favorite uh, packs to open. I just like these. They're very underrated. And uh, some of these are some of my, my favorite cards. This is 2011. So the two people I collect are definitely not going to be in this. But we might get some pretty good hits. So let's jump right into it. Earthquake. Nice. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for liking the video, sharing it, hitting that noti bell. Appreciate all your support. Mark Henry. Chris Hawkins. Jimmy Uso. Alex Riley. See, the Usos have been around for a while. These are 2011. It's already 2023, so they've been around for 12 plus years. Amazing. Hopefully this year, one of them, or if not both of them, can get some single gold. All right, how to play. All right, we'll put that off to the side. We don't really want to know how to play. Jack Swagger. I don't think anybody plays these anyways. We have a Sledgehammer card. Some Brass Knuckles cards. Card. Connor O'Brien. And here we go. Our first signature move insert is a Seamus High Cross or a Razor's Edge. So I grew up learning about it, knowing it. We're going to go ahead and uh, put in a penny sleeve and in a top loader. Get this in there. I should have read to you guys on the back because I didn't even read what's on, what, what, what we can pull. So let's go ahead and before we open up the next pack, see what we can pull. Because I'm very unfamiliar with uh, this year, brand. Like this year, I, I've collected like earlier versions. But like this is like the first time I've opened packs from this year, from the year that we're opening them up from. So it looks like we have foil cards. We have champion rainbow foil cards. And that looks like that's it. Five cards per pack. Yep, these are Europe. Published Top Europe's Limited. Uh, so it looks like we're getting foil cards. This is Signature Move. Where's the number on it? Numbering. Yeah, Top's Europe Limited. The numbering is... Trying to find the number... I don't see the number. Maybe they're not numbered. Maybe uh, th this is like the earlier years they didn't number the cards because I don't see them. It doesn't look like they're numbered. Like in order, you just have them, which is weird. I mean, unless they're alphabetical order, then sheesh, what a hard task to put them all in order. All right, how to play again. That looks like that's going to be in every pack. The Bella Twins, very nice. Gail Kim, she's one of my favorite uh, WWE divas or female superstars, Gail Kim. Ricardo Rodriguez, uh, he would come out with Andrade, El Idolo, Santino Mar Mariela, and Vladimir Kozlov. And we got the Crossroads from Cody Rhodes, 2011. Awesome. That's actually a really good card. Now that he's back in WWE, he still uses that same move, the Crossroads. I'm going to put that in the top loader as well. These uh, cards, I got them from, uh, just like the set last video, I got them from my friend in his uh, Facebook group with uh, the sales that he does with um, 
his family with his wife and his son Lucas. Uh, so these are part of the same thing that I bought from him. Uh, so it's going to be, a, what, like 24 packs of cards. We just did 12. Now we're doing another 12. And I was going, I was talking with my son and we were going over like how much like we can make from selling them. And I completely forgot that these are from the same amount that I bought. So it looks like this is going to be very good. Todd Grisham, pay-per-view Night of the Champions card. Five time, five time, five time, Booker T. Jimmy Uso. And we got the RKO signature move. RKO, look at that. Very, very nice. Same thing. So it looks like each pack has a uh, signature card. Also has a how to play card. I think one, two, nope. That one didn't have it. Next pack. I like these. Like I said before, I like these sets. This is the first time I've opened any of these before. I don't even have any of these like in my uh, like in my inventory to sell so this is going to be great money in the bank scott stanford the american dream dusty Rhodes, kane and big show tag team and over the limit pay-per-view card we didn't get another how to play card let me grab these Right. On to the next one. Put down in the comments which uh which sets of cards do you guys like to collect? Are you just WWE? Are you other sports? How to play? Finally took long enough to get one. Dean Malenko. Cody Rhodes with the face uh the face protector on. The rare fire extinguisher card. <laughs> then we got Christian. And what is this? Signature moves. Chris Masters Master Lock. Nice. Very, very cool. Same thing. Let's go ahead and put in a top loader. I can't believe on the back of the package it doesn't really tell you about like your odds of getting certain things. But uh, three SmackDown cards and a Raw card like that. We haven't got a, we got uh, we haven't got foil cards unless those are foil. But we got one every pack, and then Champion Rainbow foil card Rainbow foil cards. We haven't got that either. Now, this is our fifth pack, so it looks like we should probably get it. If that's how it's gonna work, we should get two of those at least. All right. Michael McGillicuddy, Over the Limit pay-per-view card again. Hillbilly Jim, The Road Warriors, and Scott Stanford. So we didn't get a finisher card, surprisingly. I want to keep looking at it to see if like something new pops up. But Let's go ahead, pop this open, see what we got. Another how to play card. Awesome. IRS. This is a very nice card. Ricardo Rodriguez again. Starting to get some doubles. Mark Henry's a double. American Dream Dusty Rhodes is a double. Kane and Big Show is a double. Now we're starting to hit some duds. All right. Next pack. How to play. Becoming one of my favorite inserts in the pack. Yoshi Tatsu and Mark Henry tag team card. All right. Darren Young. Kane and Big Show. Man, third one. Nikki Bella. Awesome. Very, very awesome card. And we have the kill switch from Christian. Awesome. See, that's cool. Now, now we're back into getting uh, these cards. Let's go ahead and put it in a top loader. This top loader has tape on it, though. It's all right. Won't be in there that long. 
All right, we're down to three packs. We haven't hit any memorabilia cards, which I don't know if there are any. Uh, there's 215 Slam Attack Rumble cards to collect, and we've already got like a few doubles. But it looks like there's only foil cards and rainbow foil, and we haven't hit any of those yet. So let's see if we get some rainbow foil in one of these. Here we go, my favorite insert. Nice. Lucky Cannon. Trent Beretta. The Great Kali. Over the Limit again, number three. And Lumberjack Match. This is a match type card, it tells you right there. And I don't see any numbers on these either, which is pretty weird. All right, we're down to our final two. Let's see what we get. Still no foil or rainbow foil, unless, like I said, those finishing cards are foil cards. Undertaker. Cody Rhodes again. Otunga. Vladimir Kozlov. And our first foil card, which is going to be the WWE Slammy Award. First foil. Um, I'm not really sure if this deserves to be in a penny sleeve. I'm going to go ahead and put it down. I'm not going to put that in a penny sleeve. Well, that's actually a nice foil card. Now we're down to our last Slam Attacks Rumble card. So let's hope we get a rainbow foil card in this. This is going to be our, what, our... 12th pack, and we haven't got one. Doesn't want to open. Which could be a good sign. It's going to suck if we get a foil card or like a rainbow foil, and it's that slammy, slammy, uh, slammy award. Ugh. All right. David Otunga and Michael McGillicuddy tag team. Josh Matthews. Ezekiel Jackson. I wonder what happened to that guy. Greg the Hammer Valentine. And the Foil Divas Championship card. Yuck. Not what I was expecting at all. So let's go ahead and see the hits that we pulled, which aren't that great. They didn't even really hits at all because these are just like regular cards in the set. But we got this uh, signature move, Crossroads from Cody Rhodes. Chris Masters, Master Lock, signature move. Christian's Kill Switch, signature move. Seamus High Cross or Razor's Edge, signature move. And Randy Orton's RKO, signature move. Guys, this was pretty disappointed. It's a... Uh, Pretty disappointing considering that out of the 12 packs, we didn't get even like a rainbow foil card, and the odds are one out of five. And we had 12, which would have been we should have at least have got two. We didn't get any at all. Um, and then plus the other foil cards that we got, the Slammy Award and the Divas title. Come on now. Um, so these are all gonna go up for sale in the Facebook group that I'm in, not your kids' collectibles. Um I just enjoy opening up the packs of cards. I enjoy it. I've done it as a as a kid. I did it. I enjoy it now. Sucks that there's really I didn't get anything uh, any hits. We didn't hit anything out of this, but it was fun like always. Disappointing but fun. I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me again, enjoying another video. If you could do me a solid for me, subscribe to the page, like this video for the YouTube algorithm, and hit that noti bell so you can be updated on more videos like this. And if you could share in your groups, in your friends list, on your pages, your profiles, uh, for people you would think, uh, friends or family that would like videos like this, if you could do me a solid and share so we can help the channel grow in the community. So I can also start doing live giveaways like on YouTube, which I would love to do. I already do it in Facebook. To do it on YouTube would be amazing as well. So if we can get the channel to grow, that'd be awesome. Guys, once again, this is Nick from Fabulous Las Vegas, and I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. See you next time.